I started my own company. Um, it's going to be topless breaks. So if you want to invest now, get in the Ooh. ground floor. I have um, the perfect person. I'll send you a DM. <laughs> Pokey nips. Mimic Dude, Pokey right? nips. Mimic oh, here's me. If Ryan and Alex made out yet, I don't know the history there, but I feel like they got on okay. okay. Nah, I feel like they got on okay. Nah, Ryan. Ryan made a, a video a while ago. I don't know why, but I was you the subject. Want, I think he erased the video. What? I was bored. That's... What's going on? Boys. All right. So before I forget, right off the bat, props to OK J Love. OK J Love brought some Pokemon content cr creators together. Content creators together that I never thought I would ever see in one in one video, in one chat. So I was thinking this is a four hour long video featuring. Okay, J Love, Opossum Bud, CTR, Nostalgia Nomics, Rob Does Pokemon, The Poka Office, and TCG Buyers Club. I think I named everybody there. But yeah, so a lot of community, a lot of Pokemon content creators, most of which are investor bros. So honestly, Okay, J Love, huge props for coordinating this. This is not, I don't care if J Love has 20,000 subs and he's been doing this for years. That's a very intimidating thing to do. And the fact that he got it to work out. He got everyone that he could on board. He got the names that he did. It's very impressive. Now, the video itself, you know, the, the upload, the, the stream, nothing too insane, you know. There's a lot of potential that could have went down, but didn't. So overall, it was mainly just a get together, a hangout, bouncing some ideas, some disagreements, um, a few very interesting little things you know, it did happen, of course, when you get CTR, Possum Bud, and a couple others involved. But overall, nothing insane in three and a half hours is a is a lot of content to watch. Uh, so yeah, so I was like, how can I comment on this? How can I, you know, throw in throw my ideas into the hat? Pretend I got invited on by J Love, um, but not do a two or three hour long video or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to. We're gonna react to the content. I'm going to react to it, and I'm just gonna pick about an hour and a half segment, uh, right in the middle, that would be the meat of it, where most of the good stuff is. Um, so basically, we're gonna pick up right just before CTR, Cool Trainer Ryan joins, uh, and then I'll basically go to the end, but I'll probably cut it off, and then I'll edit it, and any, any uh, notable things any of these content creators say, or anything notable, that I would like to say. I'm just gonna pause and give, and I'm gonna say what I wanna say about it. And yeah, so think of this as like a compilation of like the best of, but then Mimic Brew injected himself in there, and I'm gonna give you my commentary on their commentary. All right, let's get to it. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm about to watch like two hours plus of this again, so there's no way I'm wearing the Mimic Q costume for that. I get very sweaty after like 20 minutes in that thing. So yeah, but we're gonna pick up with uh, Nostalgenomics, Rob Does Pokemon, and Opossum Bud talking about the generalized hate for the investor bro culture, and Nostalgenomics talking about how everyone hates them even though they really don't. All right, so, oh, and then me, I'm gonna be like, okay, J Love keeps moving himself around a lot throughout this uh, stream, so I'm gonna start out where I start out, but uh, once CTR joins, then I'm gonna move to like the bottom right-hand corner, and yeah, all right. So anyway, right. we invest as us investors, we invest, we make that, that play, it pays off and then we get hated for it. Right. We get hated and talked down to Who and screamed at. You? I don't hate, if you, if you make money from Who Pokemon, I don't hate you. you. I do. Like like you you across the, the inter dude, look across every Pokemon space in Nostalgenomics absolutely has built up this story that it's him against the world. He's even made this fake society called the Pokemon Card Cabal, led by SM Pratt and others that are trying to take him down, and everyone is against him. He is literally hated by everyone, and it is complete bullshit. Sorry, nostalgia. Just Super the unwarranted. Investor is hated. Super unwarranted. If you, if you say you're a Pokemon Card investor, no. you're hated. All right, well, so it's clear. So it's clear. Uh, you shouldn't, right? You shouldn't. No, I don't hate, I'm just fucking make it like crystal clear. I don't hate any of you guys. I question the morality of what 
some channels are doing and what some of your channels are doing, right? But I don't hate you for it. Uh, I think if you're coming into this chat and you're hating on either side of the discussion here, you're coming into it the wrong way, right? But I agree. Okay, but... Okay, here, I'll give you what I do on my channel. You can tell me if you think it's ethical. If, if I come on my channel and I show what I'm doing, what I've been successful with for the past nine years in this hobby, show the exact plays what I'm making, talk about my, uh, my thought processes behind why I'm making those investments in those plays, and then saying, so... There's the data, there's what I'm doing. Do your due diligence for yourself, make your own plays. How is that unethical? I don't think it's unethical, but how is it like really like hate if someone criticizes, you know, comparing X and Y to Scarlet and Violet? No, dude, I'm not talking about that. Come on, man. Like, it's pretty accepted. If that, you that's exactly what you just did. You're like, everyone no, hates Pokemon on investing. Investors are you just like did that same thing. Of Dude, Pokemon investors are like the scourge of the community. Everyone hates no, they're investors. Not you know, every fucking content you know page is about money. Everyone here talks about money. No one is like hating on you here. You have plenty of the possum bud is 100% right. There are, if you want to start a YouTube channel, all you have to do is upload a video and hashtag, hashtag Pokemon investing, what to buy, that kind of crap. There are so many Pokemon investor channels. It's absolutely insane. He's 100% right. If people that watch your content, do people it's criticize what you say? Yeah, I mean, like, as investors as a whole, they're probably some of the most, like, successful small pages that we have when it comes to that stuff, man. They're probably, when it comes to smaller <laughs> content creators, I am an outlier. I am a commentator. I am one but of the few people even, that get small views like I do. Like, I, that's just, that's a fact. Most of the people even talk about talks about it. Docs and where to put this stuff is one of those things where it's like, yeah, this is something I'm getting for views. That's why there's so many channels. There's obviously demand for it. No one okay, hates even you. Even Rudy dude. talks about how much hate he gets, dude. You're going to like, okay, I, I get hate too because I talk about things. Does that mean like, I'm like, I, oh, these commentators are just hated all the goddamn time. No, that's so we're, that's we're act like the Pokemon community has no problem with investors. We're going to have to act like, huh? we're going to act like the majority of people here aren't into this shit. Rudy's newest video about the recent explosion in Sword and Shield is epic, and you should absolutely go watch Alpha Investments' newest video. For money? Is that what we're going to do? All right, man. For, for real, are people not here for money? Is that not it's the majority? It's ridiculous. I mean, you could ask is a million people. Is that not the majority? Is that not the and majority like of content? Yes or yeah, no? Is that not the, the majority of content? Asking? Yes or no? Nick, what are you asking? Yeah. Do like, most people here in the community when they make content talk about money when it comes to the Pokemon TCG side of the house? Do they mention money? So are you asking if I'm doing my YouTube channel to make money? No, I'm asking if your content brings up money or the money price point that you can do with Pokemon. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like it well, how how well, is investing I don't in money understand topics your point. in the Pokemon point hated so much that it is literally the most talked about thing when it comes to the Pokemon TCG minus the playability. How is it this hated concept? That's weird. All because the biggest channels aren't, aren't investing channels. All the investing channels are the smallest Oh, really? Channels. They don't That's talk weird. about money or investments or any of that stuff? Talking about money Why and talking investing about investments is a completely different thing. thing. They are? I'd say. Why? I mean, the investing channels are the smallest channels in the community, so I don't know how that would work. You don't I think, think there's card openers that are smaller? There's all kinds I mean, what I'm saying, the largest channels sure. in the community you are not You don't think investing. commentators here are small? Like, dude, we're on, like, the kind of the same level, like, content-wise. Like, yeah, we're kind of in that same little bracket. Like, that's that's an out that's an outlandish take, in my personal opinion, to be, like, money here is just so hated and investing in Pokemon is just so hated when people will literally go out and be like, yeah, I'm going to grab a couple of these boxes. Here's where the box is sitting at. Let's go check this price over here. Like, mm -hmm. I just don't know where that take is coming from when so many people emulate that content. I don't understand Bro. that. I don't, I, bro, I, go read your own comment section when you make an investor bro video. Look how much hate there is. Okay, look at all the people in your comment section when you make an investor bro video that are like, this is such a great video. This is what this is. Yappa deepa dopa dopa do. Like, what the heck, man? Like, that's not even like a crazy. How many videos do I make? How many Pokemon commentators are there versus investor pages? I have no clue. Not exactly. That many you don't know. That I know about. I, I don't exactly. There's more put people who put into investing than commentators because that is where people want to see views. People that make videos like myself. Are what Possum Bud is saying is there's two different types of channels. There's the pack opening uh, content creators, and then there's the investor bro content creators. And someone like a Possum and say Rattle, and I would say someone like myself is somewhere in between, a niche within a niche. 
you're not one, you're not the other, and you're doing the best you can trying to get views, not being one or the other. It's kind of annoying. For Rock Sandy, typically they don't either do that great or there's not enough people who are actually interested in those topics in order for people to warrant those views. I am kind of a weird outlier in that take. I'm not really too sure why, but that is how that is. There is way more investor pages than there is pages like myself. That's just a fact when it comes to that, when it comes to the Pokemon space as a whole. Of that conversation was that nobody hates us as investors as much as we seem to think. Absolutely. That's, no that's one, what you're like the, to the comments that people get, like I get those same comments too on videos about people I talk about as well. I understand what Alex is saying. Yes, he does get some pretty nasty comments. I have seen him. I also mm -hmm. get those comments, but the majority of his comments are overflowingly positive, full of experiences where people have had success in putting money into boxes and seeing things go up. I would say that's probably true, right? I think that. Can I push back on that though? Sure. Go. Okay. So you, you're making a video. You make your videos actually like coming at someone directly, like personally. I'm making videos okay. just showing numbers and in my investments. And I'm getting attacked for that. Like why? <laughs> why? Why is okay. that something? What you about that asking? video you made about like Danny Phantom? Was that a video actually going after somebody? Hundred percent, hundred percent. That's one video. Like, why? How is every yeah. video like I'm getting attacked about showing investments though? Why is investing so hated? How often do you get attacked for that? Every single video. Go to my videos. Every Just single video. One or got two people. You know how many times, like in my video, I'll have one person that calls me like some kind of slur or something. Did you feel attacked by the video that I made? D genuine question. I did not. Dude, no. I didn't even know you made it first. Uh, second, no. I, I just. That's why I told you before when we before we got on here. I just wanted to come on to have a legitimate conversation, both give our sides. I don't think anyone did anything wrong. I even told everyone in the chat beforehand, I don't even know what we're going to talk about tonight because I don't know what we're debating here. I think you enjoyed your video, Julian. Oh, thank you, Rob. Mm -hmm. Me too. I, I wish I had a bit more of me in it, but uh, it was a good video. Sorry, sorry, man. I, I think, look, all right. I think you definitely were not looked upon kindly during the... Um, what was it? It was like late 2020, 2021 period where we had just... people confuse them with like flippers. Right. That whole champion's path onwards here until we got to what was it, like brilliant, brilliant stars when the supply issue sort of fixed it up. I think a lot of people hated your channels back then, or they hated channels like yours back then because it meant those channels felt like they were contributing to the, the, the lack of supply. Um, and they were the reason why prices were so high. Now, I don't think so. I think they're probably, they're, there's like a little leftover resentment. Um, but there's not so much hate for the most part. I feel like many people are just ignoring, like, if you feel like n your videos aren't getting views, I, I think it's just because people aren't really, they feel like they're getting told the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so it's, uh, what's the word for it? Fatigue, saturated. maybe? Yeah. Like there's that, so right. So there's like a little bit of fatigue there. Right. But I don't think anyone no, hates I, you. I, I, it has nothing to do with the views. Right. But I, I didn't see anybody from uh i looked through all your comments um i didn't see anybody from my community come and brigade you guys and tell you guys um you guys were ass hats um i don't feel like it's there i feel like it's a bit of a boogeyman like you feel like you're hated i don't so I agree with Nick. I, I, I mean yeah, like no, one in a hundred comments just trying to make it sound like i'm yeah. being attacked like alex is being attacked real quick so alex nostalgianomics Actually, I like this guy a lot. I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of his content per se, but him, the person, uh, when I started basically almost a year ago today is when I started taking YouTube seriously. And last summer, Alex, Alex and I talked, there was a couple, few weeks where Alex and I talked like literally every day. Um, so yeah, just personally, like man to man, like he's bouncing a lot of YouTube ideas off me and vice versa, especially related to how we edit things. Um, so I actually got to know him really well. And yeah, so I'm just letting it be known that I, I really like Alex. I think I think Alex is cool. I'm just saying like the investor word in the Pokemon community is like a negative word. It's got a negative connotation to it. When most people in the community hear that word, it's like a negative thing. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't feel that way. I, Alex, I, I'm like, I don't, I don't feel that way. Genuinely. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with you or prove you wrong in any way. Like, you know, I started doing my Instagram, like, in like August last year and it's pretty positive. Like maybe I get one or two comments every now and again calling me like investor scum or something, but I actually find those quite funny. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't see it. Like every now and again, someone's there and I think maybe they're like old school or they have some issues. I don't know, but uh, I, I do think like there's a reason the views are, are so high for smaller channels, like the ratio of views. Like you look at like, I was doing YouTube research and it's like, if, if you've got like 
10 subscribers, you should expect one view, right? Like it's like 10% of, of the people that watch. Like for me, like I was starting out with like 200 subscribers and, and getting like 10,000 views. And it's like, and I see the same thing for a lot of, a lot of other channels too. And I mean, there's, there's videos that just pop off and um, I just think there is so much interest and people are genuinely up for it. They want to, they want to watch what's going on. They're interested in the values. And I think most of them are really positive. I, I, I really do. I, I like you, Alex. Just so you know, I've seen on your videos before where you're like, people don't really like me. I really enjoy your content. I, I, I watch it quite often and I think you are a good content creator. So I just, I just want you to know that. Okay, buddy, it's going to be all right. Dude, we got here. Push it to office. Like, dude, this, I, I don't know how it got centered around me or something. This has zero to do with me. It's just the investor word here. Like here, Pokey office, you, you get the same stuff, right? Pokey, people. So Rob does Pokemon. If there's one dude I would get a beer with, I think it would absolutely be Rob. Like he just seems like a, a jolly fella. Why are we? Why are we trying to make it this though? Like, like even like in the chat, they're saying like I'm a victim complex. No, but like if you if you're getting I'm criticized, not well, this about I, I can, me. I can it's just answer like that investing for you actually, the investing right there. firm in general. Zero about me. I don't feel attacked. So it, I just feel not... like in the community investing is is. I can help you out with that real quick. So that's not particularly to you because a couple of these guys don't experience the same level of hate. I can actually answer a little bit of that for you. I think it's more about how you come off with content. And I'm kind of the same way with that too. People naturally will not like me because of how I am and what I say and what I do and how I express my opinions. Uh, for example, I think some people might have took it as like a victim complex because in your thumbnail for that video where you had Julian's face, his beautiful face up here like that, uh, the video said responding to J-Love's attacks in all caps. I think that was one of the things that maybe kind of gave it off as like victimhood because you were in the video for seven seconds alongside a bunch of other people. I think it's the content. I don't necessarily think it's like the investing. Like, Roxanne, doesn't get the you same level it. of hate that I do, for example, you because you of how I... You make titles and thumbnails get clicked. Oh, yeah, but, like, that comes with consequences, though, too, right? That comes with, like, people that are going to look at that, obviously, because people are going to look at that and be like, oh, well, you know, that's an attack or something like that. And then they go watch J-Lo's video, and it's like, but he was in there for seven seconds. Alex's name never even came up. You weren't even mentioned, really. Like, they showed a little okay, snippet of you, and that was it. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. This isn't about me. It's just about what's investors the, in general. Point? Well, you were saying that like you're getting hate, and these guys over here are saying no, 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 no. You're not understanding you're Alex one one bit. Just, you go on that? Reddit, you go on Facebook, you go anywhere, and you, that word investing followed by Pokemon or Pokemon followed by investing, and it's like, ooh, get away from me. Except There's on that the actual Pokey investing subreddit, though, right? That's where you know that doesn't happen. You just admit it, dude. Investor bros are hated. It's no big deal. Just admit I'm not it. admitting shit to you because that's not true. You guys statistically <laughs> we... have more views. I thought and we more settled that. Your content. There's more channels. That's not true. You have a whole separate subreddit. Possum Bud is 100% right. So investor bro culture was absolutely hated post pandemic um, and towards the end of the pandem pandemic. And what you have now is people that are still in the Pokemon TCG community are people who. A higher percentage of people who actually care about Pokemon cards are here for the long haul. Um, so a lot of the actual should be hated upon investor bros have since left the community. Um, so in general, Possum Bud is 100% right. Like, investor bro content is the number one most clicked on, most viewed content everywhere. Um, so Poke Office, Nostalgenomics, they're both wrong. They used to be right, like two years ago. But now the easiest way to get views is to talk about Pokemon cards and talk about the prices and show an upwards arrow. Boom. Like literally, that's how you get thousands of views just by this is going up. Like look at Nostalgianomics, his thumbnails. That is huge. It is one of the biggest subreddits in Pokemon. That is just a fucking lie. All right. I think now's our window and I'm going <clears> to... <throat> There's a question here from uh, Ichiban Dan, and I think we'll get Ryan in. Ichiban I'll, Dan. I'll get him to, to answer this question double. first up. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just going to bring Ryan in. You're still here. So I love like Ichiban here. Dan. Oh, hey, God, Ichiban Ryan's Dan. Here. Oh, shit. I don't know what chat is. I'm taking a picture. I'm going to I'm gonna show my mom. This is awesome. <laughs> cool train Ryan. Uh, there's a question here from, um, from Ichiban Dan. It was a few minutes ago. Dan, sorry I missed this. Hi, Dan. Uh, this is an open question here. I said a simple question for the panel. How many of you would even care about Pokemon as a franchise? TCG slash VGC slash anime if all value disappeared tomorrow, if there was no profit to be made. And I want to get an answer from Ryan on this one first. Ryan. 
I'd burn it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, you genuinely wouldn't care. I don't know. I'm, I'm... No, I mean, well, no, I know. I, I genuinely wouldn't care. Because, like, remember, I, I got into collecting, right? It was my outlet for depression at the time. And I was collecting everything and everything, right? Just to collect, right? I was opening everything that I missed out on as a kid. And at the time in 2016, value wasn't like a thought in my mind, right? It got to the point where I started collecting sealed product because I just wanted to preserve the money I was putting into collecting. So like, that's when I started collecting sealed product, right? But like, it's not like today, right? It's, it's not, before things blew up during the pandemic, when I was starting to actually buy product and like sell it, I was lucky to make $5 a blister. I would, that, that's what I was doing. Like, it wasn't like this crazy thing where I was like trying to hold, sit on product for it to skyrocket, right? But yeah, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care at all. Right, you've been collecting for ages. Um, and I kind of wish we had you here earlier in the conversation because I should have thought about this a bit more. You, um, I think out of everybody here, Okay, so for those of you that don't know, uh, Cool Trainer Ryan, he began investing really hard in like 2014, 2015, 2016. He lived with his mom up until last year or a couple of months ago. So he had the ability to stack away a shit ton of money and put it all into sealed Pokemon product, um, which eventually he did. He learned to do that. Um, and he spent probably $100,000 on a company credit card towards po sealed Pokemon product. And he got the biggest... You know, his timing could not have been any better possible to put all your money into mid-modern vintage uh, Pokemon product. And then 2019, 2020, 2021. So basically, he uh, basically got about as lucky as anyone could possibly imagine as far as the big boom, 2021. Um, but yeah, definitely don't try to replicate the way he did it. Do not try to get a company credit card and put a shit ton of money into Pokemon on a company credit card because chances are there will not be a Nexus level event like COVID to help you uh, pay off all that debt. So just saying, Cool Trainer Ryan got really lucky, um, but he's the coolest dude ever. So, you know, it's whatever. Uh, you probably have seen the biggest volume of product, not just like modern, but like mid 2010 sort of stuff. I feel like... Cause I know that no, I mean yeah. you've, you've like you've got all your old videos with Rev where um, and this was yeah, before like, Rev Shadow blew up. Are, but we're, we're talking about like a lot like, of those. You got to think about like before Rev even made videos. Yeah, we were buying. That's stuff, what I'm saying. Right? We were yeah, yeah. Stuff. That's what I'm saying. So like you, I know for like I feel like confident in saying that out of everyone here, you've seen the most volume of mid 2020 stuff and understand I mean, the amount yeah, of yeah, it yeah, out I there. Mean, I, yeah, yeah you, you guys, people don't realize how yeah. much truly is out there, right? Yeah. So, like, I remember one purchase, like, from Hills Wholesale Gaming. <laughs> Shout out to Hills Wholesale Gaming. Um, I remember it was like, Nick, we should buy them out of all this. And I, it was Hard Gold, Soul Silver, Unleashed Blisters, right? At the time, they were $10 each. I think Nick bought them all and I was paying them back. I think he spent, like, 90 grand on blisters. So break it down to how many that is right now. Oh, you, no. you were able to make, listen, it's not that wild. Cause you're only going to be able to make like $2 50 cents per blister. It's not like no, just dropping 90 grand. That's I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head around that, man. Apparently poker rev was like, filthy like, rich shit, before he right? got into so, Pokemon. Like, yeah. Holy shit. I had the mind. Of where, investor bros. I had the mind of what to buy and where to go and what to do. And I had the connections of things. Right, from buying all the time, creating, you know, connections. Um, but yeah, something like that, like so many, so many. And this was 20, 2019 <clears throat> for a Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. And what do they go for now? Like $150, $200? Yeah. Well, we have to give a shout out to Ryan and Rev for being the first investing bros, though, right? I mean, Nick more than me, but I was I was definitely buying in order to like you know make a couple schmeckles <laughs> to keep myself being able to like collect. Hundred percent. It back then it wasn't an idea. Like yes, I was buying, but I was buying to like be able to sell and make a little money. Se Were you ever buying stuff to 
buy it, hold it for a year, and then sell it for like ten dollars rather than five dollars? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, so technically, investing. that's technically investing, right? Technically, hundred percent. Yeah. Like, I mean, I agree with you though. It's crazy because Pokemon should never ever be like seeing a booster box that's two years old go from one hundred and fifty dollars to no. eight hundred dollars. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. I don't know. J-Bone says, I got into Pokemon for the money, but that was before I knew it, before I fell in love with it. I'm sorry for using you Pokemon for money. That seems like a... You just have to get that off your chest. Thank you, though, J-Bone. Yeah, see, see I, I'm very grateful for what Pokemon did for me, and that's why I run my channel the way I run my channel. I saw a pallet of Tino. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't understand. Just because it's not on the market... That's right. ...doesn't mean it's out there. Well, I mean, this mean is... Well, it, no, 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 no. You don't understand. No, I I've, do. I've been, to, I've, I, I, I've been to a facility. Yeah. I've been to a facility where I saw pallets upon pallets upon pallets. I mean, pallets in the rafters of like, Ooh. like the Indiana Jones, the uh, Ark of the Covenant storage facility of Pokemon. Just that far back, you know, just you know, 20, 30 rows of just I was getting bro, pallets I couldn't, see the back, pallets. I couldn't see the back of the fucking warehouse. I was getting I cold. Hey language i was getting called a skeptic in the chat right um for the wrong reason because i'm a skeptic because i this is what i'm saying right so i'm glad i'm like yes victory lap that he's saying what i've been speculating and being skeptical about which is how much actual volume is out there and i feel like it's under us it's undersold how much is potentially out there you know what I'm saying? Like for other people like that are investing in stuff to not get caught when he does, if he ever does, do, or the next guy that inherits it, dumps it is don't, you know, always take profits when things rise. If you want to make sure you're protected from something like that happening. Yeah. I mean, like there, I do have some regrets from when everything went up during COVID and stuff like that. Cause I sold not a fucking thing. Sorry. Shit. I sold, I sold not a thing. I, I, I sold not a friggin' thing during that whole COVID boom. I was like, I'm keeping it. I, it's my my collection. I'm not I'm not selling a thing, and things went down. But I eventually sold because I had to buy house and stuff like that. You know, you gotta make decisions in your life. But uh, what do you have? Left? What do you have left from all these? You have a lot what? left, though. You have like a whole lot left. In terms of what? Like uh, I guess like pre X Y stuff. Not much black and white. Um. Between Watsy, um, at EX, Down Pearl. Cool Trainer Ryan doesn't have near as big as a personal yeah, collection as you guys boxes. think. Like, he's Some cool with what he has, which is you guys, his Ryan. community. Hey, the house looks beautiful, though. But he's got a lot of Celebes. Totally. Like, but yeah, his I mean, actual Caddy slab, great. Cats are taken is, care he of doesn't have, like, an insane Pokemon PC. Secondary. Pokemon secondary. Ryan, how if does... I could have a house with storage and as much sealed products you have and a Catio, I'd be a very happy man. You've done well. Well, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I have a, a second, a second like building. That's, right. But yeah, how, like I still, have, I still have to store stuff in the garage. Like, but you know, it is what it is. But. How does how does what you see out there now with Sword and Shield and Scarlet Violet, the volume of it compared to what you've seen, um, when you started in the mid twenty tens? Volume of it. I mean, yeah. I uh, Sc well, Scarlet and Violet feels like we're just in the X Y era again. Like, right. Like, think about if you think about 2016, same thing as Scarlet and Violet right now. Nobody, nobody wants it. Andrew's nobody wants real. it. It's a, it's a, it's a same, it's the same thing, right? We're going through the same thing that modern is being left on the shelves and it's just X, Y all over again. Cause you think about it, if you go back to 2016, there's, there was plenty on the shelves. You could find anything you wanted any day you walked into the store. It's the same thing. Will will Scar and Violet have the same gain as X and Y did? Um, I remember in 2016, 2017, I thought people were absolutely out of their mind collecting seal. All it needs is time. Just give it time. If Steam out, Siege can do it. But I'm sure. 15 years from now? Sure. 10 years from now? Sure. Like, everything's going to go up in time as things get out of print. We're seeing it right now with Sword and Shield stuff, right? It's just the way it works, right? I mean, why? 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 Okay. Why? Why is it just the way it works? Why? Because it's out of print. Um, you can no longer get it at retail, right? Um, 
once retail outlets don't have the reason it's like just the way it works anymore. is because the Pokemon IP um, is the most successful, right? most popular, most biggest money making IP in down. the entire right. world. So when even the Pokemon even cards are down, the plushies, the video down. games, the anime are up. That is why Pokemon is the biggest IP in the At world because it's right. four Not different like things all overpowered together. Do you think it? Do 100%. you? Were you watching the side of the stream, Ryan? Because I don't want to hop too much on earlier. Um, no, I I, start, I joined whenever somebody whenever people said right. Um. Someone in the chat said, J-Love thought Ryan would help his position, but he's helping Nomix. No, it's not about helping position. It's just about providing... I'm not helping anybody. I'm just giving you yeah. my yeah. Why is it my position? Why isn't it just like... We're just because you made a video. That's why. Yeah, I don't know what the video is about, but... um, Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like people need to just collect what they like. Um, I went into this hobby not thinking about investing at all, right? And it just so happened hey, that I was, Ryan, you know, know, collecting boxes I like, collecting cards I like, collecting like those like obscure collection boxes, you know, paying market for them. It's not like I was, you know, like I never imagined that like things would go up, right? Like, do you think just like you know the term like investor bro or like Pokemon investing? If you like you invest in this stuff, do you think it just kind of gets like a negative connotation in the hobby these days? Why do you care? <laughs> I know, I'm just, I mean, I just, we, we talked about it earlier. You weren't here for it. You didn't get to give your I'm take. I'm just saying, but, but, but real, who cares, then? Who cares? I, I get think, you. I get you. No, Mix, I, I, I think, mean, I think. Listen, listen. There's a lot of people that don't like my content. Do I care about them? No. <clears throat> Thank you. I don't care at all. <laughs> Genuinely. At the end of the day, why do you, who cares? Yeah, because, why do you care? Genuinely, why does it bother you? Okay, I get you. Right? I mean, at the end of the day, make the content you want to make. There will be people that like your content, and that's the only focus you should have. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say it bother me. I was just, it's just, it was a topic of conversation. Be who you are, kids. Because, I mean, Don't try to be that, someone you're not. Be who you are and follow your dreams. COVID when people are scalping and stuff like that, right? I mean, but like, you'd be dumb not to have some sort of mindset in terms of like how much money you're putting into something, right? It's just as an adult. You should have some sort of understanding, right? If I could actually give you guys advice on what to invest in, I would love to. But I, I, I don't know what to invest in. Like, I tell people right now, like, sword and shield sets, anything with an alt art, buy it now. Buy it now. Buy it now. Because everything's going to go up now. Everything's going to go up. And it's been going up now. Like, just buy it now. Buy it now. Link, Hills Wholesale, Gam Hills Wholesale Gaming. Shout out to Hills Wholesale Gaming. Again. <laughs> um, they, they, they're very... Fair, fair prices, but like again, just buy, buy it now, buy it now, buy it now. Um, but like anything else besides that, I, I can't tell you. I would love to tell you, right? I would love to tell you, but I can't. I can't tell. Why you. do you feel like? Why I do you feel like you can't? Because I don't know. I, I, like I, I don't want to give people advice that isn't actual real advice. I'm not trying to fake anything and tell people, or I have some leverage on something that I'm going to give you advice on. And, you know, tell people invest in that because I got a boatload of product on that. I, I just can't, right? I tell people how I gained my wealth, right? I give them those, those, those examples, those strategies that I used, that I implemented back in even 2016, 17, 19, 18, 19. I tell people, that, I give people that advice, but I can't give people like a certain set, certain product because it's, because it would be fake. I, I want to give people the truth, right? I would love to help as many people as possible, but it's not possible. Because anybody's guess is be as good as mine, right? Anybody's guess. I think you brought up right. a really good point, though, because you said make content that you like. Some people Let like that be it. the moral. Of your hey, content. shut up. And you've grown on me. Like, shut as up. I watch, the more I like shut your up. content because I see how genuine you are. Let that be the moral of the story. None of these people actually know what they're talking about. It really is anyone's guess. Your guess is as good as any of these investor bros. Okay, there are generalities. And when it comes to Pokemon, the generalities are everything sealed eventually goes up. And the only reason that's true is because the Pokemon IP is the most powerful, multifunctional, multi-sector IP business conglomerate in the entire world. So everything generally goes up over time for Pokemon because the IP itself is so ridiculously strong. It, it's all about what, what your position is, what your price point that you get in at is and your timing so while everything goes up if you have terrible timing 
and you get in at the wrong time and you don't hold you know long enough you could lose but other than that everything does generally kind of go up if it's sealed over time but that's only with pokemon because the ip itself is so ridiculously overpowered you are the more i like your content because i see how genuine you are and if people don't like you who cares don't watch that's all good and legitimately for myself i legitimately genuinely like talking about the numbers i nerd out about that stuff so i'm gonna talk about it that's like that's what i like to do would you guys consider Sword and Shield the most prolific and collected era of modern Pokemon? If so, this would affect the price of the go up and beyond. All of a sudden now? All of a sudden now? It's definitely all one of the sudden. most eventful ones, that's for sure. I'd agree with that. For Fire sure. And Scarlet and Violet, the most printed and, uh, and clearly sword, the most sword, demand. Sword and Shield, sorry. No. Sorry, Greg. I mean, Sword and Shield still yeah. printed, printed more than Sun and Moon. Let's just all follow what Ryan and Bud said. We'll just we just put boxes or cases away. And worst case scenario, you break even. Best case scenario, yeah. the train continues and we all make money. I mean, but at the end of the day, yeah, the content we like. Sell, the result of the pairs you're splitting is where it ends. That's really the big thing. That's my argument sake for it is like comparing other things. And that's where I kind of think it gets a little weird. But overall, I don't think there's anything wrong if you fucking grab a <laughs> box and you sit on it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I told you guys at the beginning too. Yeah, well, Josh has Ryan Pump Fusion and Chilling Rain. Yeah, now I have. Sure that was the most sound advice product. you can give. What a possum just said. I'm gonna make a boatload of money. You scandal, you. Oh, bro, I'm kidding. Like I literally bought a hundred boxes of Chilling Rain back in. When when did it come out? Uh, 2021. Yeah, I bought it in 2021. Nobody else wanted. It. I bought it for my distributor just to increase my distribution allocations. Yeah, I opened half my boxes. Calorix that said is so good. I love it. Like uh, from uh, the uh, what was it? Uh, Black uh, Poltergeist in Japanese, dude. That card is so good. It's one of my favorite altars of all time. I still think it's kind of crazy that it slept on. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Every time, it slept on for openings, every time you do one of those mass openings, I go out and buy like ten of the cards that you like try to chase because. Uh, oh, you bought just... the Kong Did you buy the Kong I got the Blaze I, 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 I had a Kong Kelder. <laughs> Bro, that Conk Kelder's up to four dollars now. <laughs> I I love Conk Kelder as a Pokemon, but I hate that art. I fucking hate it. Hey, um, the fact you understand that Pokemon Go has a lot of terrible like, art in it, but then it also has some yeah, really good well, Mewtwo's. Like, packs did you like open and slide Conk Kelders out of though? Like that's the, that's, that's the real story. Fair. You don't know. You don't know. Hey Ryan, <laughs> Ryan. So I know I know a lot of what you do on your channel and your streams. You do just because you like doing it, right? Yeah, I lose money every time. Right. It doesn't make a difference. Do you, like, are you aware? I mean, I'm sure you are. I know the answer to this is already yes. But, like, you're aware of, like, how that movement, like, what you do, how it impacts the secondary and, like, collect the market, right? I got this comment a yeah, lot. No, and I, and I, I'm, not, I'm not... Buy, buy the card now. Buy the card now. I'm, not, now. I'm not paying a target on your, on your back, right? But I got this comment a lot. Um... <laughs> not only in my video, but in the, in the video that I put up and the, but in the stream today in the chat, which is that I was punching down and only going after the smaller creators and I was ignoring the bigger creators like, uh, yourself and Rev, right? Now in yeah. my, in my video, I directly made the point that it happens with bigger creators too, because of the influence, right? No, 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 right, right, right. No, I'm not, no, 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 let me, let me finish, right? What, what I'm saying here is, right, that, I'm not saying you're doing it directly. No, 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 no. I know, no, because you have better things to do than to do this directly, right? But indirectly, right, you have big channels, you have big reach. You're aware of how what you do influences the greater collecting space, right? Correct. So, so when you see me put out that thumb of what I'll be chasing next, go buy it. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm it's saying. Like Rev and Ryan have yeah. major pull. They do. No, no, he's not going to pull it. No, no, no. no. You're no, you're, I, you're I physically like you you you're evidently showing how hard it is to pull those cards. Like you're going through what? Like, what's the most it's amount like of cases you've gone through? Right? Don't point though. You know how many um, people so, say that about Umbreon V Max when it has the exact no, same rarity? No, but you you the think? Dude, someone literally tried to argue this with me in the other fucking. They, they all have the same pull rate. I don't know where this pull rate thing is coming from. All hyper rares have the same yeah, pull rate. Yes, all of them. agreed. But you don't think you don't think that when a to when a card is in vogue, when a card is like Julian, you're smarter than this. No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. You, I'm in vogue. Can I be in vogue? You, you, 
You don't think that when people are talking primarily about one cut, it doesn't have an influence on the secondary market? Of course it okay, does. I can just prove that immediately. It's, it's, it's not Luminion. that I'm disagreeing. It's I've, not that I've I'm disagreeing. Rev, whenever he couldn't pull Luminion, it didn't shoot up in value. Yeah, that's true. It didn't. But when he it did, when he said But when it did with Aerodactyl, it did? In value. It, but when he, had, had he liked, when he said he liked the Umbreon V better. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, so I want to make it what perfectly clear. Here, no, I want to make. Change? Huh? What changed? I say you could pick more examples where it did versus where it didn't. Especially yeah, that, in the last that, that, six months. That's the rule. That is the rule though. That's the first time it happened with like Luminio. How come that car didn't shoot up? That's the, that's the exception. That's the exception. Because something else is in play other than the actual card itself. Which is what? Like, it's not just the card. It's it's something. It's the Pokemon on the card. Right. Yeah, play. fair. Aerodactyl, fair. Machamp, fucking... Like, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Luminian, nobody cares about. Right. But the question I had, right? The question, yeah, the question I had, right, is that you're aware, right? That when you do yeah, that, it has a it has an impact. Think, I'm I not saying it has the primary driven impact. Come on, come on, come on. It has an impact. Listen, Shoot. I definitely believe it does have an impact, but I think it's also been a perfect storm in a sense, right? With Sword and Shield sets going out of print on PokemonCenter.com, right? They've been going out of print. I've been doing these chases with not with with that not in mind. I don't pay attention to that stuff really. Um, a little bit though. It's a perfect storm, right? Because like I'm doing these chases. Right, I'm opening 50 boxes of Chillin' Rain. Right, right. I'm opening X amount of packs of Astro Radiance. Right. Lucky, thank God, I lost Origin. It's I laughable how much thank product God. he rips through that in that his Saturday another, live that streams. That would have been another quest of X amount of boxes I would have opened. Right. I was getting I worried about you, honestly. Part. I think it's about it's it's just a perfect storm of like where you know no one's really opening that much Sword and Shield. Currently, no one is doing that, and it's a perfect storm with that plus Pokemon Center going out of print out of all these. Ryan's not even a ripping chipper, and he probably opens more packs of, of Pokemon cards than just about anybody on planet Earth. Impact. Of course, you see the Conkelder go from three dollars to four dollars. All my Conkelder investment bros, I got you. So, <laughs> but again, it's, it's it's a perfect storm. It's a perfect storm, and like I didn't pull the rapid edge. Out of Chillin' Rain, out of all those boxes. I didn't pull Rapid Dash. That's a good card. That's I like that one. So anybody want to invest in Rapid Dash right now? Invest in it. No, I think... Just here first. No, 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 I never no. pulled the Sneasler. The Sneasler out of... So honestly, Rapid both Sneasler and Rapid Dash are both singles work fire the artworks. Sealed, though. Yes. Buy all the copies. 100%. Buy all the copies. <laughs> Just, just all of them. I mean, so so when I was like buying stuff to like resell, I would buy them all, right? And but again, it was cheaper for me buy to buy it. back then, right? I would buy out everything, right? Mm. So like Nick and I at Hills, when we bought out all those unleashed blisters, we bought them all. All you of them. bastard. All of them. All the platinum supreme victors blisters. All of them. Oh. No one was buying them anyway. Nobody wanted them. Nobody was buying them. We bought that's, all that's, the evolutions. Yeah. I, we bought back, all back, the back evolutions. Then, nobody actually cared. Nobody wanted them. Don't come at me. Nobody wanted them. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody wanted them. So I like remember. You I remember Breakpoint being on sale at fucking like for like twenty five bucks at Walmart at one point. You understand? Bucks, I, remember going, I, I remember going to GameStop and getting like. Super ultra clearance, seventy percent off, eighty percent off at, at at GameStop. Oh yeah! Of all these collection boxes that are now like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Nobody wants. That's crazy. COVID, baby. What are you doing these days? I like, bought them. Are you like collecting or like anything these days? Are you just kind of getting modern product and opening I'm not it? Like, are you doing anything for yourself? Anything. I'm not collecting anything. Kind of dumb. Yeah. You see, oh, well, no, I, 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 I just can't financially collect. If that makes sense. With, with He's been spending video, a lot of money lately. Mortgage, cats, everything. I can't financially collect, right? So, because all my money, all my excess funds, even more of them, my excess funds go into like videos and live streams. That's it. That's I, I want, I want to start collecting sure. best videos. live streams on YouTube, though. Right? I would love to do that. Um, but like, no, I'm not collecting twenty thousand dollar booster boxes. I'm not. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of 
people telling me that I'm bummed or that I'm pissed or that I have the face that I look like I hate capitalism. This is I just have a resting. Well, you probably do though. No, you I probably do. I, I, he absolutely yeah, does. You do. Such a downer, yeah, Jayla. You're a downer. Resting. You're a fucking downer. You know it. All your Japanese cards you love to collect to go up. It, I mean, but like. But we're we're back at 2016, right? We're back at 2016 when 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 first edition base set PSA 10 hollows were going for record prices and everyone was bent out of shape. But like that's you. At the end of the day, you want to see that growth in the hobby. If that prices some people out, so be it. But I don't know. Wait, I don't care. Like uh, I don't but care. You do. No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. You want, you want natural growth in the hobby, in my opinion. No, I don't care though because. And I spoke about this earlier in the stream that I didn't, I don't look at my collection as an investment. The collection transiently is an investment, right? And I think most collectors use their collection to then invest in other cards. So like you get something cheap or you pull something um, rare or you buy it when it's cheap and then it goes up in value and then you use that to leapfrog and buy other cards. That's how I treat mine. Do I care that it's down now? No, because I still have the cards that I want. There's no card that I own or any box that I bought that I bought because... I wanted to go off in value. That's life. That's just life. But you can, right? you can, hang on, wait. You can buy, you can own multiple copies of the same card. You can own multiple booster boxes of a set that you like, that you may, and I think it's a little bit different when you're creating content as well, because there are a number of boxes I own that I might want to open up in a few years' time, right? So that's why I mm -hmm. bought as many as I've bought. But you, you can very easily not care if it goes down. Because if you're just buying because yeah, you, like, you buy what you like, well, we're talking you, about the growth of like capitalism and how it's impacted. I don't know. People, why do people think that I hate capitalism though? But that, that's what <laughs> we're talking about. That's no, not trying to, like, trying to get, get, get off that topic. I'm like, really drunk. Like, I hate capitalism, Opossum. I really do. I just hate it. It's, it's the worst thing ever. I don't know why but, you said that, but you did. But at the end of the day, like, you can't help that people with money get into the hobby. I'm getting one. And guy. regardless of the economic situation oh. that's currently at hand, there are people waiting in the wing with loads of money, ready to buy everything. Yeah, you probably right, that. but you can't you can't do anything about that. Like, no, nope, you can't. No, you can't do anything about nope. that. You can talk you about it. it. You can do. You can just play into it. You can talk I about mean, it. All I mean, I get pissed that I can't buy a, a snap coffee for five hundred dollars anymore. Yeah. I get pissed all the time. Still, still pissed that I own. I was like still five hundred, six hundred bucks in Japanese for a car. There's a spot. Right in my binder where it's supposed to, I'm still waiting. I'm hoping it just drops a little still bit still need more. to get another eye on from to, like, a spot where I feel good about it. It's, like, it's going right in there, but we'll see. Your views I are popping. It. You can afford it. No, nah, it's, I, I don't, I, 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 you are correct, Light Charge. I am regretting my life choices as a brokey. Well, obviously don't listen to that one. That was like, J-Love is a communist? Wait, that bro, that was like five Christ. minutes ago. How, how are you just catching up on that? I saw that five minutes ago. What are you doing? Jesus Christ! Bro, you gotta pay attention to the chat, bro. I'm I am live. at my own detriment. Bro, the more I pay my, attention to it, the more I get yeah, it's tilted. My live is my, like, my eyes are glued to my off. my chat. Yes, yeah, I'm a broke communist. That's it. Hey, listen, it's settled. What people said about me. You don't hear like, said some things. You don't hear me. me. You don't hear me complain about I can't afford. <laughs> A Team Rock returns boost box. You don't hear me complain about that. You just said that, that though. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It was a joke. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't don't fuck with me. Sorry. My bad, dude. You're gay. You're the master here. You, you say jump, I say how high. Hey Ryan, so no, back in the day no, though, no. like when you, back in the day when like you and Rev were like you know coming up together, like doing all the stuff. Was it his intention to like invest and hold the stuff for for growth or like never? You both just got lucky with it. I, I convinced them to like collect sealed product, bro. Collect sealed. You don't have to open everything, grade everything, and sell it. Collect some sealed product, bro. Money doesn't hurt. Collect some sealed product, and then catch it. But like we weren't coming. We weren't coming up together, right? We weren't coming up together, right? <laughs> Like, we were established pages. I mean, we were doing deals right? together, buying us more juice, buying us more juice. Like, what are we going to buy next? We were, yeah, we, we were, we, we met in 2017, we were just friends, and I was buying boxes off of him, right, throughout, like, 2017, 2018, 2019 is when Rob just woke up, everybody, look at him, look at him, he literally fell asleep, what a god. We might have had, like, some small deals, we're like, hey, bro, do you want any of this? I'll buy it, and then you can just pay me back, we did a lot of that, but, like, ultimately, like, 
the, our first big deal together was like 2019. So like it was two years of us just like communicating, talking, being friends. It wasn't anything like we were coming up together. Right? Yeah, I get you. Right? I get you. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Like I was like I collected a lot of stuff that he had no interest in, right? So we were just we were just enjoying the hobby. For me, for me at least, I was just enjoying the hobby, collecting stuff, trying to find things that you don't real you don't rarely see, especially like obscure collection boxes from EX Error, all that different stuff. Especially EX Error blisters, you rarely saw 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Like you rarely saw them. And finding them was just the, th the thrill of finding them and being able to purchase them and having them was truly the most fun I ever had in my life, my adult life, to be honest with you. Heck yeah. If I can go back to any year, it would be yeah, 1999. Like, like, oh, my God. And I never God. thought the value was going to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to make so much money off of this. Never thought. Never thought. It was never thought back then. Now, because everything's blew up, it's just that's everybody's thought. It's like, how can I make money? Because everybody's made money in here. Right? It's. Most likely, you're not going to make money. Hey, um, so that's the real reality of it, right? While I got you all in here, I did want to ask this uh, a little earlier. But where do you where do you see uh like the ceiling for? I I don't want to make this about um like individual YouTube channels, right? But where do you see like the next cultural phenomena happening with Pokemon cards in the same way that we saw with Logan Paul 2020? Uh, I feel Pokemon's going to die soon. Hopefully. This is the worst take in the in oh, entire I stream. Feel that way too, like unironically. I'm sorry. This is a bad take. I'll explain later. And not not because like Pokemon suck an ass or anything. I just think there's the interest is gonna be lost and people are gonna have different priorities. Personally. Well, no, it's because Pokemon suck an ass. <laughs> That's a disagreement. I don't agree. And yet all that Quaxley slander I've heard, I don't approve of that. By the way. Whoa, Quaxley slander. Yeah, don't, wasn't you though saying you don't like Quaxley? Quaxley's cool, cool Pokemon, but then it grew up to no, like, no, uh, no, Quackleval. That's what it is. You don't like Quackleval. What's what's that? What is that thing? The uh, max evolution of Quaxley. Uh, we call it Quackleval. Oh, the, the big booty, the big booty, the big booty one, the big booty one, the big booty one. I'm just joking, Julian. Well, that what? shakes his butt. All right. That shakes his butt. Shakes his butt. All right, enough. In, in, okay, okay. Anyway, you, you like the ducks? Why? Why, Ryan? Why? But like you said, because because it sucks now. Why? Why do you think that? Interest is declining. You could you could look at Google Trends and search Pokemon cards, and the interest in the search results on Pokemon is down. It's down. Do you see it coming back? Um, do you, like do you, do you do you think there will be like? Because I look at it, and I'm like, what could possibly happen beyond what Logan Paul did with base set? That I don't would I, make I, it. That I, it I, would... don't, I don't believe I don't believe Logan Paul influenced. So real quick, I think. Even if it does die down, it'll come back eventually for reasons none of us can predict, and it'll always be that way. Because the Pokemon Company has four different kind of thing going going forward. It has the merchandise, which is the plushies. It has the animes, which is the movies and the TV. It has the video games, and it has the Pokemon TCG itself. That's four different, very successful, highly uh, generating a shit ton of money, all four of those things. So even if one does die down in the popularity of one of those things, the other three holds that up and gives it a chance to pop off again in the future. So the, even though Cool Trainer Ryan got into all this stuff in 2016, whatever, st dirt cheap when no one cared about it, the only reason they were still printing Pokemon cards is because the other three were still doing really well. So as long as Pokemon Inc., Pokemon International in its entirety does well, there will be peaks and valleys and lulls within the Pokemon TCG itself, that 25% of Pokemon. So to say Pokemon's going to die, even if the TCG does die, it'll eventually rise again, and it'll die again, and it'll rise again. All because the company in its entirety is exceptionally successful. You know, at least one or two or three of the sectors are always doing well. So all of it will do well eventually. Everything as much as... I'm not, uh, no, I think it definitely was... No, I think it definitely was, was because it, it was hit COVID. a lot of people. That took over yeah, too, COVID. yeah. Nobody else was doing. Sports card had the same rise, and he did nothing for sports cards. Sports cards still had the same rise as Pokemon cards during the pandemic. It was and a catalyst, Rob. Nothing. That's the word. Yeah. Logan Paul did nothing. It was definitely the catalyst, though. It, you, can you agree? It was a catalyst event. The pandemic was the catalyst, not Logan Paul. 
Look Logan, got in come on, secede uh, a little Logan bit of ground. Paul, a little bit of both. Logan Paul, Logan Paul got into it after the catalyst. But what I'm saying, is, what I'm saying is, COVID pushed sports. Stimulus did nothing. Stimulus did nothing. Stimulus did nothing. I don't want to hear stimulus. Stimulus didn't do anything. Oh my God, rewind. We're saying the same thing, right? With COVID, with COVID, right? Being the cat, being. COVID put everything up. What I'm saying is po COVID put sports up, it put Pokemon up, put Magic, put Yu-Gi-Oh up, right? Logan Paul, though, was the catalyst that set Pokemon beyond those other three. Clearly, it was, because I'm otherwise... Pretty, all I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure they all were all crazy high. I'm, I'm, no, but sport, know, sports... Like, I, I agree with you, Ryan, but... I'll all collectibles, like, video like, games, like, anything. Oh, no, 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 all collectibles, listen, not listen, Pokemon, listen, not, listen, not sports. It was right all there. collectibles yeah. during agreed, COVID. Agreed, of course. I mean... He's he's one of the biggest social media people, right? Of course, Gary V had influence on. That's true. Yeah, more, right. yeah, more so with sports. Right, right, yeah, right. but okay, a bit with Pokemon I mean, too. True. I mean, and but then like, King Gary, Gary, Gary King Pokemon. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gary pushed Pokemon a bit, oh, but he yeah. pushed sports. That yeah. Pawn Stars episode right. is like the most that, viewed that, Pawn that, Stars that, episode that, ever. He, he was yes, right there for a Gary did a lot. Gary King Pokemon did a lot. My question is, right, and I feel like it's only... This is meant to be fucking for the rest of you guys as well, right? Okay. Which is, do you see that cultural... Like, a cultural phenomenon like that happening again for Pokemon? No. No. Not naturally, no. Nope. Fellas? I mean, Grave down fine. Nomics? Not naturally. No, I, I don't. I mean, I don't, I don't think it needs Something it, will happen. Absolutely. It doesn't need it, but something will agree. happen. I think it could happen, but I, I don't... I don't think we will ever see it coming. It's a completely unpredictable event if it does. So the question is whether you think the hobby is going to slowly die from here or if it can sustain itself. And I'm on the side of it will sustain itself, but I accept fully that I know nothing and could be wrong because you just never know with these things. Like, yeah, like I have so much. I, I, I guess what I'm saying is like that all that stuff starts and ends with you then if you don't do it. You know what I mean? Well, no. I mean, you want you want to get something to happen? Documentary with me and Rusty. Done. Bam. No, me, That'd Rusty, and Red. Me, Rusty, and Red. That'd be awesome. Done. Yeah, I mean, like, you should cook it up, dude. It would be a good watch. Uh, I'm good. Okay, TCA <laughs> Gaming is the you know only channel member that yeah, I have. Yeah, it would take, yeah. That'd be, be, cool. Rusty. That'd be cool. cool. I feel like we're at the, at the end of the line here, guys. I don't want to drag it out too much longer. Yeah, I got like more minutes and I gotta go wow, 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 everybody's leaving. All right, guys, bye. Okay, wow, that's, that's underwhelming. No, I mean, I feel like we've, <laughs> we've, we've, we've stretched it out as long as we possibly could. We had a okay. good chat. All right. Oh, oh I, I mentioned Mystic. No, it's not that. No, now, now it looks like, no, now it looks like that. No, it <laughs> can't win. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Um, so once again, this was Jay Love who hosted this stream. Um, you should absolutely go subscribe to JLove. Go like the stream that he did. Um, everyone that appeared was Opossum Bud, CTR, Nostalgianomics, uh, The Poke Office, Rob Does Pokemon, and TCG Buyers Club. I'm going to link all of their channels in the description below of this, of this video. Um, and all you need to take away from this video is that none of these guys have any idea what they're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. No one does. We all have educated guesses. Uh, but, you know, your guess is as good as ours as far as future investment and what what's going to happen price wise um all you can really do is speculate and that's all you can do with collectibles so yeah i think all of these guys did a great job and again j love you're awesome thank you for doing this um until next time guys like comment and subscribe on this channel and i'll see you guys on the next one deuces